How to use overcooked steak. 1. Make a cheese steak. Slice the steak thinly. Slicing against a grain helps the fibers break up easier. It will give the illusion of tenderness to the meat. Add the sliced steak to a hot pan. Put American cheese slices or cheese whiz over the top. Add a tablespoon of water and put a lid over the pan. This steam will keep the meat from drying out. After a minute, scoop the cheesy filling onto your hoagie roll. 2. Make a stir-fry. Slice the steak against the grain. Slice lengthwise to get thinner strips. In a wok, cut veggies, seasonings, rice or noodles as usual. If your meat is dry and flavorless, add it at the stage of seasoning. Mix it with sauces and give it a swirl. The meat will heat up with the sauces and pick up flavor. 3. Make dumplings, empanadas, and pasties. Overcooked steak will make a great dumpling filling. Finally, chop up the beef or use a food processor. Pulse four or five times. Mix the beef bits with other ingredients for the filling. Add cabbage, ginger, and fish sauce for steamed dumpling. Or you can add potatoes, peas, and carrots for pasties. 4. Make gravy and biscuits. Break the meat into small chips. Make a thick white gravy with roux and milk. Add the beef chips in. Season with salt, pepper, and cayenne. Pour the gravy over biscuits. Top it with over easy eggs. 5. Make a cold sandwich. Pop your steak in the freezer. In 20 minutes, it will be firmed up. Slice it thinly at an angle with a knife or a mandolin slicer. Pile the slices on a Kaiser roll. Add tomato, red onions, and horseradish. 6. Dice it for a nachos lasagna. Dice the meat into small cubes. Cover the bottom of a skillet with tortilla chips. Top it with your favorite salsa, meat cubes, and grated cheese. Add another layer of chips and salsa. Top with baby spinach and more cheese. Bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit until the cheese is melted. Top with sriracha sauce and avocado slices to serve. 7. Chop it for terrine. You will need a loaf pan. Terrines can be served cold with pre-cooked ingredients. They get set with a gelatin stabilized broth. Since the meat is cooked, go with the cold version. Choose your veggies, greens, and herbs to go with the meat. Follow your favorite recipe to fill the loaf pan. Let the loaf pan sit in the fridge overnight. 8. Shred it for a mushroom ragu. Saute onions with bella mushrooms until softened. Add marinara sauce, basil, and seasonings. When the mixture starts to bubble, add the shredded steak. Serve over pasta or gnocchi with grated Parmesan cheese. 9. Grind it up for a pie filling. Cut the steak into 1-inch pieces. Add a drizzle of olive oil to your food processor. Turn it into a semi-puree. Use the meat puree as filling for a pie or quiche. 10. Shred it for a noodle soup. Shred up the steak with a knife and two forks. Add it to your favorite noodle soup. 15 minutes before it's done, the meat will soak up the broth and develop flavor. 11. Simmer in liquid. Warm some water or broth in a pan. Add some barbecue sauce and a sprinkle of lemon juice. Simmer your steak for two minutes. Barbecue sauce and lemon juice will revive the flavor 